Country unions. A while back I did a video on proposed country unions that never happened in the past, mentioning the Federation of the Andes, the often proposed union of Romania with Bulgaria, and even the highly unlikely Franco-British Union. But while history is filled with examples of these proposed but never fulfilled political unions, today in 2022 we still have some countries that want to join up with their neighbors and unite into larger and stronger states. In this video we're going to be taking a look at a few of the those proposed country unions that might happen in the future. Now a quick disclaimer, I don't support any of these unions in particular, I'm just doing a little investigation and showing them in a video, but let me know in the comments if you'd like to see them happen or not. First a proposed union that would result in a gigantic country, the United Turkish states. The Turkish states are those countries that historically share a Turkish culture and heritage. They are Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Turkey, Uzbekistan, and Turkmenistan, essentially the Central Asia Istans, plus Azerbaijan and Turkey. They're all part of the Turkish Council already, or the Organization of Turkish States, which is precisely an intergovernmental organization whose objective is promoting cooperation among states that speak Turkish languages and share that heritage. So far, it's an intergovernmental organization whose members are fully sovereign countries. But in 2021, General Secretary Baghdad Amreyev announced that the Turkish Council aims for a united state overseeing the Turkish world. I guess the idea would sort of be to create a united Turkish states, a union of somewhat sovereign states, but perhaps sharing a common diplomatic representation and a number of common policy guidelines, maybe somewhere in between the US and the EU. While this makes sense for the Central Asian countries, it would be odd for Turkey and Azerbaijan to join given that they are territorially disconnected. Also, Turkey has so much of its own identity due to its own individual history, in addition to that Turkish heritage, that it would be odd to see it somewhat disappear to become just a member state of something that is a part of their culture. Second, the one so many people already know about, since there's a million videos about it, the East African Federation, a proposed political union between the seven member states of the East African community. The member states of this potential new country would be Burundi, Kenya, Rwanda, Tanzania and Uganda. Recently, South Sudan stated they also wanted to join, as well as the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Honestly, and this is just a personal opinion, I think the union makes sense and has great potential for the first five countries, but South Sudan is such a problematic territory with border disputes and recent independence from the north that it would maybe add unnecessary trouble to this new nation. The Democratic Republic of the Congo might be a good addition, especially because it would unite both African coasts, something I don't think is ever been done since the British Empire or that Portuguese attempt at uniting Angola and Mozambique, which the British precisely refused, but it could be an overextension of the territory. Opposed to almost all the others on this list, the union seems to be going forward already. It's not established, but the institutions needed for its functioning are, and representatives from all related nations have been working together towards this common goal. Next, we have the possible union of Kosovo and Albania. Serbian people, please don't get mad at me in the comments. Since Kosovo's independence from Serbia in 2008, talks have been made between Albania and Kosovo to unite into a greater Albania, due to Kosovo's majority ethnic Albanian population. Although I don't think this is really taken seriously by either government. Despite Serbian opposition, Kosovo is a de facto independent state, and since they are ethnically Albanian and get along well, a union could be the way forward. However, it would anger the Serbians even more, and we all know how much of a powder keg the Balkans are, especially in the Serbia-Bosnia area. The union would however play into the fulfillment of the concept of a greater Albania, an irredentist and nationalist concept that seeks to unify the lands Albanians claim as their natural homeland. They base the claims on the present day or historical presence of Albanian populations in those areas. The most radical position states that in addition to Albania proper, they should include Kosovo, some valley in Serbia, territories in Montenegro. Negro, Greece, and even North Macedonia. If the union with Kosovo led to these further desired territorial extensions, then I think it would pose a big problem, but I don't think Albania even wants this to happen. They don't even claim Kosovo itself, they just support its existence and are open to discuss its incorporation. 
Following that, one likely union is the joining of Belarus with Russia. More and more, Belarus remains an isolated country in Europe, with their diplomatic stance being closely connected with Russia's and seemingly following their foreign policy very closely, establishing strong economic, military, and political connections with the Russian Federation. As we saw in a previous video, the Russian Federation already has some semi-autonomous republics within it, so Belarus could be the next one to join. Another possible one is the union of two European overseas territories into a new country of its own, St. Martin. St. Martin or St. Martin is a small island in the Caribbean divided today between the Netherlands and France, remnants of each of their colonial empires, and the division itself goes back to 1648. Today a movement exists to unite the island into one single sovereign country. They even have a proposed flag already. The 1648 Treaty of Concordia allows freedom of movement between both parts of the island, which has promoted a common sentiment among the island's inhabitants, similar to what we see in the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland. Although in the case of St. Martin, this is also the reason why some see a formal unification as unnecessary. The odd thing is, a lot of people that support reunification don't necessarily want independence, which doesn't make much sense. Would just France or just the Netherlands rule over them, or would both continue to in an Andorra-type situation? And back in Europe, what if Moldova joined Romania? In 1917, the Bessarabia government of the Russian Empire declared independence as the Moldovian Republic, and united with the Kingdom of Romania in 1918, before the Soviet occupation in 1940. After Moldova gained independence following the dissolution of the Soviet Union, it remained as an independent country. Today, some people argue that the countries should reunite as they did in 1918. I guess an example of their cultural similarity is their almost identical flag. One poll from March 2021 stated that 43.9% of Moldova would vote to reunite with Romania and now the value might be even higher because Moldova seems more and more eager to establish further connections with the West and the European Union of which Romania is a member of. In Central America, one political leader has rekindled the idea of a federal republic of Central America. The president of El Salvador, Naib Bukele. Somewhat of a questionable figure altogether, he has put forward calls for pursuing a deeper regional integration, eventually resulting in a modern Central American unified nation, including Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, Belize, and Panama. The idea would be a remake of the Federal Republic of Central America, which existed between 1823 and 1841, although at the time it didn't include Belize or Panama. The countries do have some cultural similarities, but also a lot of differences, but who knows, perhaps a federal state with a large degrees of autonomy for each member would be a way to increase economic development. Another one that everyone knows about is Korea. Korean reunification has been a goal for both Koreas since the 1953 armistice agreement. However, proposed strategies vary between the two Koreas, with both proposing unification under one system while abandoning the other. In sum, the North wants to rule the South and the South wants to rule the North. The fact they both have completely opposite systems makes a compromise difficult. In a recent edition of the Winter Olympics, both countries' athletes competed together under the same banner and negotiations between the two continue to happen, but I think it's unlikely that a real unification will happen in the short-term future. And finally, somewhat of an odd one, a proposed union of Canada with the Turks and Caicos Islands in the Caribbean. The proposed Canadian annexation of the Turks and Caicos Islands has been an ongoing political discussion between the two nations since a Canadian Prime Minister first proposed the idea in 1917. Both Canada and the islands operate under a Westminster system of government and share King Charles III as their head of state. But while Canada is independent, the islands are currently a British overseas territory under the direct sovereignty of the United Kingdom. The process would essentially replace the UK with Canada, but the UK has been granting increasing rights to the islands and interest on Canada's behalf has been apparently diminishing as well. And oddly, I have no idea how the people of Turks and Caicos would feel about it. It was proposed by Canada to the UK in 1917 and then resurged as an issue in the 1970s, but it was always Canada wanting the islands and the UK refusing. I could find no information about the island's inhabitants' position, something that would be useful to know in a situation like this. So, those are some of the potential country unions that might happen in the near medium term future. What do you think about them? Are they at all likely to happen in your opinion? And would you like to see the unions take place or not? Let me know in the comments along with any other potential country unions that you think could happen. I can always make a part two of this video. Thanks so much for watching, subscribe if you want, and I will see you next time for more general knowledge.